This is new number 16 for review test 4. It says radium-226 has a half-life of 1,620 years. If 110 grams is present now, how many grams will be present in 400 years? Don't worry about that second part right now. What we need to do is look at this first sentence using this formula. This is our half-life formula. And the problem is we don't have K. We do know that the half-life is 1,620 years. That's your T. We're going to use this formula to find the K. We're also going to use a little shortcut, and that is this formula. One half equals E to the negative K times, in this case, 1,620 years. Now, where did the one half come from? This 1,620 is the half-life. That means half will be left after that many years. So that's what you're going to use to figure out what the k value is. To undo that, we need to do the opposite, which is to take the natural log of both sides. You do natural log of 1 half, you get negative 0.693 approximately. I would leave that whole number on your calculator screen. LNE cancels, and this gives us negative 1620 times k. So the e is gone. All we have to do now is divide both sides by this. Now, instead of dividing negative 0.693, leave whatever was on your screen, negative 6.93, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, divided by this, and this will make your k value a little more accurate. So this works out to be to five to six places, 0 0.000428. That is the k value that goes with half-life for this item, radium-226. Now we can go at it from the standpoint of we want to figure out how much is left starting with 110 grams, that's our a sub 0, what we started with, e to the negative k, which is 0 0.000428 times 400, because that is the t. And that is just a straight calculator problem. And when you enter that in the calculator, you'll get 92.69 grams.